Oh, where's the copper? Are they still on the market? <laughs> this must be like one of the oldest things I've ever seen. Look at this. I think what attracted me to e-waste was that we know that e-waste is the fastest growing waste stream in South Africa already. Um, what also got me very hot under the collar was a statement I overheard once to one American saying to someone that say, he thinks that the African continent is seriously under polluted. Well, the e the line started out when we received money from Julie Packard and uh, the Swiss government EMPA. We put, put a funding proposal forward and said, guys, here in Cape Town, we would like to do something better with e-waste than just seeing little informal operations set up. What we'd like to work for is a one-stop shop. We have arrived now at our next destination. That is just PC. That is the place where really the equipment that still has a life in it will be refurbished and repaired. Since we've started with the refurbishment for the corporate companies, we've refurbished um, just about over 100 computers for donation. And uh, we, we are going to try to double that within the next three to six months. Um, we are making money out of it. At the end of the day, we, we don't charge the corporate companies anything for refurbishment of the computers. We retain a, a certain percentage based, based on the age of the computer. If you look into what we call the integrated waste management strategy, you know, what you need to put your emphasis on is preventing the waste in the first place. So that is our highest priority. Recycling comes only further downstream. It gives computers a new lease of life. Like we don't have to throw away stuff and uh, maybe damage the, the nature through throwing away. We have to recycle the thing. For me it's a new thing because I didn't know anything about computers. So I'm learning a lot here. So I'm, I'm loving it. It's so good for me. We, we are making a difference and uh, we get, getting computers to, uh, to people that, uh, that previously would not be able to have computers. When the computers arrive here, we have already established that the computer is beyond refurbishment or repair. because. It's either the specifications of the equipment is too old or it is really beyond repair and, and you cannot repair it anymore. Components get dismantled, like this would be obviously now aluminium. That would go to an aluminium recycler. And then you have various condensers and those condensers get also taken out. And this piece is our problem piece because this is the CRT monitor. This is where the leaded glass is in. However, if you leave this in an informal environment, people would try to get hold of the copper. This is the copper coil. This is what people are after because this is copper and this is valuable. Okay, you get about 45, 40 rands. That's about five dollars per kilogram on the market if you, if you get the copper. Now, if it does not get dismantled in a formal environment like here, people would just trash the monitor. They just would throw it on the ground to get, rid to get hold of this and the rest they wouldn't care about. What we're doing is we take it all apart to the last bit, the printed wire boards, the plastics, and this one, which we cannot recycle here in South Africa, finds its way then to a hazardous landfill site where it can get encapsulated. So the lead does not harm the environment. The project's been running now for probably three years in total. Um, the last year was spent really developing infrastructure and testing it to make sure that it was functional within the country. It's only recently become an important part of waste disposal, e-waste. Normally e-waste was just landfilled. 
And as it's becoming more of a, um, um, an environmental concern for corporates, they're starting to look for solutions to dispose of the e-waste in a proper way. My favorite part really is that it's such a synergistic thing that there are so many people who can benefit from it. Um, you know, if we give one person employment to dismantle computers, it's not just that person. There's a whole family behind it, so we touch the lives of many people on very many different levels. We have now finally arrived at the last station of our e-waste journey. We found a way to do something really beautiful and we have teamed up in our recovery alliance with a very talented jeweler um, who is a trained goldsmith and she makes the most amazing e-waste to art products and I'd like you to introduce you to Angie Cranswick. Suzanne arrived at my house with two crates uh, full of e-waste and she said, come on, do something, use your imagination. I thought, what an opportunity. And it's in the form of a link already. So for me to get anything to that stage would take at least an hour's work. So all I had to do was manipulate the metal and add a bit of silver where I needed to improvise uh, or finish something off. Got a particular hair piece that I enjoy. I've taken the, the copper from the computers and melted it and then put it through the roller and obviously there you go. I'll illustrate how you can put it in. And voila, can also be used as a weapon if you feel threatened on a date. 